Garfield County Commissioners met with representatives and the chief of the United Katua Band of Cherokees here in Enid about bringing in a casino, which has been a hot topic. And I don't want that in my community. I think it can be very beneficial. Years ago, the city of Enid told the United Katua Band of Cherokee Indians from Tahlequah no when they tried to build a casino inside city limits. Now that tribe is moving their plan a little out west near highways 412 and 132. Some people haven't changed their minds in opposition. I don't think it's a positive for the community. To whatever extent a little bit of revenue might be generated for the county, I think it will far be exceeded by the, um, by the harm, especially to lower income residents. That land, according to a person close to the deal here, is already committed to the tribe to acquire and put into trust with the federal government. Ezel says he already got a call from someone in the area saying they were annoyed. I, I know folks are talking, um, but it wasn't exactly well publicized. He hopes conversations now with the county are transparent so people know what's going on in comparison to how he says it went with the city of Enid. Other residents are excited by the news, saying they'd rather the money that people are spending in Oklahoma's casinos stay close to home. Canton, El Reno, uh, the surrounding areas, they all benefit from it. And it, it brings people through your communities. There's people stopping getting gas, there's something to eat. So I do think it, there's benefits for, from it. Now this would be the first casino here in Garfield County and the only casino operated by the United Katua Band. Now we reached out to them and did not get a call back. In Enid, Dakota Wapakichi, KOCO 5 News.